My name is uh, John Tomlinson. I'm an opera singer and I first walked into this building in 1973 to audition for a man called Tom Hammond who was then in charge of the music of the company, but he was then the Sadler's Wells Opera Company, I think, before it changed its name to the English National Opera. And uh, in 74, they took me on as a member of the ensemble to sing with the company. You know, I've got so many memories. I remember coming into the company in the 70s and I was the youngest uh, amongst these wonderful old stagers, you know, people like Dennis Dowling and Eric Schilling and Harry Blackburn and you know, Dennis Wicks. My God, those guys could dominate the stage and, and, and every word was like a rifle shot to the back of the auditorium, you know. I mean, they were, they were, they were great days, so I remember those with great affection. I remember um, some of my early performances were in Mary Stewart with Janet Baker, and we had a scene in, towards the end of the piece when she's sentenced, sentenced to the scaffold. Uh, which was always very special to me, and I admired her so much. I remember the first Wagner. I remember seeing in the audience the, the Valkyrie with Norman Bailey and Rita Hunter, uh, early 70s, as a member of the audience, uh, and just being so excited with the discovery of Wagner's music. And then 76, I think, with, with Macaris, I sang Fasolt in the Rheingold here. That was a for me, a momentous thing to be singing this great music, which later in my career became so central to what I've done. You know, I, I really, that's my claim to fame, I suppose. Uh, and carrying on that Wagnerian story with Reggie Goodall, endless hours working with him and, and singing Mark, King Mark in, in Tristan and Hagen in Götterdämmerung on tour my first contact with a really massive Wagner part. You know, in particular, I've got very happy memories of the marriage of Figaro from the late 70s. L Lord Harwood, who was running the company at that time, called me in a couple of years before. And, uh, prior to that, I've been doing quite a lot of smaller parts. And he said, John, I think the time has come. This is, we're doing a new production of Marriage of Figaro. Uh, Jonathan Miller's directing. I think you're the, you're the man for Figaro. And so, uh, there followed a rehearsal period with Jonathan. Lil Watson, I remember, was Susanna. Uh, who else? Christian Duplessis was the Count, for instance. Alva June and Dennis Wicks were, were Marcellina and uh, Bartolo. And uh, we had such a gloriously enjoyable time. We're talking about 1978, I think. Rehearsals were at a place called Camperdown House, up in the East End. I'm sure it doesn't exist anymore. But we had a hilarious rehearsal period, a joyful rehearsal period. And uh, it was a brilliant production. It was very understated. It was very natural. Jonathan didn't want anything over the top. It was just absolutely convincing. And that, that sticks in my mind as being a very happy time. I suppose the last thing I'd like to say about a favourite role here is uh, Baron Ox in Rosencavalier, where I did three productions over in the 80s, 90s and the noughties. Uh, there was John Copley's re uh, rehearsed by Keith Warner, I remember, in the 80s. Then there was a wonderful Jonathan Miller production in the 90s. And then there was, more recently, a David McVicker production. And uh, so... Baronox, you know, it's, it's a long, complicated, joyful part. He's a sort of child of nature. You know, he, he, he has incredible lust for life, totally politically incorrect in our present-day climate. Uh, great fun to perform. It's one of the, it's not the only role I've ever done, actually, which is great fun and a joy to perform because most bass roles are pretty serious, dramatic events, you know. Uh, and so I suppose I was singing that role from mid-80s all the way through to 2011 or something here. Every two or three years I'd be singing in Rose and Cavalier here. And that, that was very special to have that contact over so many, over so many years. And uh, it's always a pleasure to come back and sing in this great, this wonderful theatre with this wonderful, generous acoustic. 
and it, it's, uh, yeah, it's a pleasure always to be here. <laughs>